whether it's about selecting a new employee from a shortlist of employees, whether it's about selecting a vendor for automation, or if it's simply about selecting your new office location. However serious or simple your decision might be, it will always be best to use a structured way to select the best option. And one of the common ways to do that is to use a matrix or a grid. In other words, a criteria based matrix or a grid. In such scenario, you evaluate each option against a defined criteria. When should you be voting on such a matrix? And when should you be rating against each option against each criteria? Voting involves asking each team members to cast their vote for each of those options like we do in elections. But here we do it for each criteria. With rating, the team members deliberate, debate and give their consensus rating such as in a scale of 1 to 5 for each option against each criteria. So how will you decide between voting and rating? Here I am going to talk about 4 important criteria which as a facilitator will be very important for you to know so that you can choose between voting and rating. First is team dynamics. Do the team members know each other? Do they freely exchange ideas? Do they debate among themselves constructively? Is this a homogeneous group or a heterogeneous group? Heterogeneous groups tend to cast out rather than deliberate and debate because people might not know each other and they might want to maintain distance. What about company culture? Do bosses hold the final call? Do others look for what the bosses prefer and show their preferences based on that? If you believe that the team members feel safe casting their vote rather than deliberating and debating, then you should go for voting. The next criteria is the objective of this exercise itself. Do you want to select one winner or do you want to get a priority list so that you can work with? If you want to get a priority list, obviously rating would be better. But if you want to select one winner, then voting would be better. And also, if you want to finally share the outcomes with others. In some cases, it might be important for you to be transparent about your selection process. In such scenario, voting would be better. That's why in most organizations, the board members deliberate debate, but finally they vote for their decisions. The third criteria is the individual's knowledge. People who are participating in this exercise, how much they know about the subject, about various options. For example, if you are selecting between two new softwares, do people at all know anything about these two new softwares and their features? If they haven't experienced any of the software, how do you think they casting a vote or a rating would really help? The last is the criteria used for selection itself. Are the criteria used subjective or objective? Are they measurable or not? Do they aim to evoke the emotions or they trust more on the facts? If it's more on the side of the fact, then I would stick to rating. But if it's more about emotions, it's about how people feel, then voting might be a better choice. For example, if you want to choose the best place to go for a team outing, then probably voting would be better. I hope this helped you to clear the air between voting and rating. Further, it's also a good idea to weigh each of those criteria depending on how important they are. And so you could give weights for the criteria and you could add the sums as weighted sums instead of mere sums. A center for fact and data driven leadership, we aim to help you learn and see a clear picture and take short decisions. Thank you.